Welcome back, Deep Divers. We're taking a look at the Science Magazine Top Physics Breakthrough of 2024. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. It is. Ultramagnetism. It's got everyone buzzing, and for good reason. Absolutely. This stuff is incredible. Get ready because we're diving deep into this brand new type of magnetism. Brand new, can you imagine? I know, right? And we'll be hearing all about it straight from the researchers at Johannes Gutenberg University. They're doing amazing work over there. Seriously, groundbreaking. We're talking about magnets that break all the traditional rules, stuff that could completely revolutionize how we store data, maybe even computing itself. That's right, like way beyond what we can even picture with our hard drives right now. It's mind blowing. It yeah. really challenges how we think about magnets, you know? We had ferromagnetism and anti-ferromagnetism. We thought that was it. Like, we've got to figure it out. Exactly. But then ultramagnetism comes along and throws a wrench in the works. Totally. Just to recap, we all know about ferromagnetism, right? Mm -hmm. Your basic fridge magnets, those little forces all pointing the same way. Yeah, creating that magnetic field, yep. Exactly. And then there's anti-ferromagnetism, those forces canceling each other out. So no magnetic field at all. Right. So that's the classic setup. But then, back in 2019... Researchers at Maine's university found something totally unexpected. Uh -huh. They were doing some pretty intense mathematical modeling of electron behavior, mm -hmm. looking at these things called spin symmetry. Right, spin symmetries. Yeah. And this is where it gets really interesting. These symmetries, they describe how the spin of an electron, which you can think of like, um, like a tiny little compass needle. I like that, a tiny compass needle. It is, right. So these symmetries show how those spins can be arranged within a material. And there are a lot of different ways they can be arranged, which leads to all sorts of interesting behavior. So that's the aha moment. Like, all this deep mathematical analysis is what led to the discovery of ultramagnetism. Precisely. They found that there's a third possibility, a third type of magnetism. Wow. Where these spin symmetries, they actually create a whole new behavior. Amazing. So what's happening with these electron spins in ultramagnetism? Well, the magnetic forces, they're actually anti-parallel, meaning they point in opposite directions. So like you're trying to cancel each other out. Yeah. Like an anti-ferromagnetism. You got it. But here's the wild part. Even though they're opposite, they still manage to generate a spin-polarized current. Okay, wait, hold on. Spin-polarized current. What in the world is that? I know, it sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty cool. All right, break it down for us. So imagine you've got a bunch of electrons moving through a wire, right? But instead of just randomly flowing, their spins are all aligned in the same direction. Huh, like they're all doing synchronized swimming or something. Exactly. And this synchronized spin, it creates a net magnetic effect, even though those magnetic forces are trying to cancel each other out. Wow, so it's like they're fighting each other but still working together at the same time. That's a great way to put it. And that's exactly what makes ultramagnetism so unique and... Uh, and so potentially groundbreaking. So we've got these opposing forces, but also this aligned spin. That's where the name ultramagnetism comes from. Right, Al for the alternating directions. Exactly, it perfectly captures the essence of this new type of magnetism. And the crazy thing is, this isn't just some theoretical idea anymore. In 2024, a team at Johannes Gutenberg University, they actually proved it in the lab. Yeah, they actually saw it. I know. They were using a super powerful electron microscope at DESY, one of the biggest research centers in Germany. Oh, yeah. Incredible technology. Right. And with that, they could examine the magnetic structure of materials on an incredibly tiny scale, way smaller than a human hair. Amazing, isn't it? The things we can do now. And what they found was the signature of ultramagnetism. They saw those anti-parallel magnetic forces and that spin polarized current all coexisting. Proof positive. It was a huge moment for the field. Yeah. They went from these complex equations to actually seeing it with their own eyes. It's like suddenly this abstract concept became real tangible. Absolutely. And this is where things start to get really exciting because now we're talking about like, what are the possibilities of ultramagnetism? What can we do with this? The possibilities are practically endless. It's incredible. I know. My mind's already racing and we're just getting started. Up. It's like we've discovered a whole new fundamental thing about like the universe. Yeah. It's pretty wild. It really is. And you were saying before about how this could change how we store data. Oh, yeah. Like, big time. Yeah. So tell me, how could ultramagnetism revolutionize data storage? Well, think about how electronics work now. Okay. We use the charge of electrons to store and process information. Like the bits on a hard drive. Exactly. 
like tiny little magnets pointing one way or the other. To a zero or a one. Yep, that's it. But with ultramagnetism, we might be able to use the spin of electrons. Instead of their charge. Precisely. Yeah. And get this, the spin of an electron can exist in more than just two states. Oh, wow. Unlike charge. Exactly. And that means we could store way more data in the same space. So not just zero or one, but... A whole bunch of different values. Your phone could hold as much data as a whole library. Seriously? It's mind-blowing. Wow, that is a game changer. But wait, there's more, right? Oh, there's always more. We've only just scratched the surface. You mentioned spintronics earlier. What's that all about? So spintronics is this whole new field, and it wants to use electron spin for everything, not just data storage. Like what? Like building completely new kinds of electronics processing data in ways we can't even imagine right now. And alter magnetism would be a key part of that. It could be huge because, you see, spin polarized currents can be controlled so much more efficiently. Compared to regular electrical currents. Right. So we could build devices that use way less power and they won't heat up as much. Speaking of heat, isn't that a big problem with computers these days? It is. As we try to cram more and more transistors onto a chip, things get hot. So alter magnetism could be a solution for that. It's definitely a possibility. But there's even more. Researchers are even thinking about using alter magnetism for quantum computing. Quantum computing. Okay, that's one of those things I know is like super important, but I don't really get it. It's a wild concept. Imagine a computer that can solve problems in seconds that would take our best computers millions of years. No way. Way. That's the power of quantum computing. So it's like having millions of computers working on the same problem at once. Pretty much. And ultramagnetism could be the key to building these quantum computers. Seriously. Yeah. We could use it to make qubits, which are the building blocks of quantum computers. Okay, so not only could ultramagnetism give us faster, more efficient electronics. But it could also unlock the power of quantum computing. It's a really exciting time to be working in this field. I bet. But hold on, you said there are over 200 known ultramagnetic materials, right? That's right. So, like, a whole bunch of different possibilities. Exactly. It's a vast landscape of possibilities just waiting to be explored. And, you know, Johannes Gutenberg University, they've got two whole research centers dedicated to this stuff. Two? Wow. That's how important it is. It's amazing to think we're only just beginning to understand all of this. We're just scratching the surface. Who knows what we'll discover next? It makes you wonder what other mysteries are out there hidden in the universe, just waiting for us to find them. Exactly. It's a constant adventure. It really is. And it's all thanks to these amazing researchers who are pushing the boundaries of what we know. It's inspiring, isn't it, to see people so dedicated to expanding our understanding of the world. It really is. This feels like one of those moments in history where we're on the verge of something truly amazing. Who knows what the future holds, but I have a feeling it's going to be incredible. You know, it's crazy to think something as simple as like a magnet could change so much. It is. And you know what's amazing? What? It all comes back to those theoretical physicists, those equations. Like who knew that scribbling on a chalkboard could lead to, you know, a whole new kind of electronics. It's like the power of math. Right. Right. Exactly. It makes you wonder, you yeah. know, yeah. what other secrets are hidden in those formulas just waiting for someone to figure them out. Totally. But okay, we've talked a lot about what alter magnetism could do. Uh-huh. But what about the challenges? Like, mm -hmm. what's standing in the way of making all this stuff a reality? Well, one of the biggest things yeah. is control. Like, how do you actually control and manipulate those spin polarized currents? Mm. It's tricky. Even little changes in temperature or the magnetic field can mess things up. So it's not enough to just discover these materials. We have mm -hmm. to learn how to, like, tame them. That's a great way to put it. It takes a lot of understanding, a lot of engineering know-how. And then there's the whole issue of compatibility, right? Like, mm. how do we integrate ultramagnetism with all the electronics we already have? Exactly. Our current tech is built around electrical charge, not spin. So we're talking about, like, a, a fundamental shift in how we design electronics. Absolutely. It's a huge undertaking. But, I mean, with all the potential benefits, it seems worth it, right? Oh, definitely. And researchers all over the world are working hard to make it happen. And those research centers at Johannes Gutenberg University, they're <laughs> leading the way, right? They are. They're doing incredible work, not just figuring out the basics of ultramagnetism, but actually creating new materials. Wow. 
and developing ways to, you know, to really harness those spin polarized currents. Like incredible to think about all the people involved, all working together on this. A global effort. Yeah. Scientists from all different fields coming together to make it happen. It's really inspiring. It is. So, you know, as we wrap up our deep dive into alter magnetism, yeah. I think the most important thing to remember is that we're living in a time of amazing discoveries. Totally. Like, alter magnetism is a perfect example of how basic research, you know, just exploring how things work, mm -hmm. can lead to breakthroughs that could change the world. It's mind-blowing when you think about it. And even though we're still just starting to understand alter magnetism, yeah. the possibilities are incredible so stay curious keep exploring who knows maybe you'll be the one to make the next big discovery well that's it for our deep dive into alter magnetism thanks for joining us we'll see you next time for another adventure into the world of cutting-edge science and technology